Hi, this video will explain how to obtain solubility parameter for a nylon SIG system using a LAMPS polymer template module. First of all, we should prepare thermalization calculation results. In this video, I'll show the pre-steps in summary. Please refer to the card for details on how to prepare the results. At the molecule builder module, draw the nylon 6 with the repeating unit 20. Next, at the structure builder module, fill the space as the polymer. In this example, the model is made of 20 chains. We should fully equalize the model at the amorphous temperature range. On the module selector, open the simulation tab and go to the chem lamps category. Click the thermalization module to add. Connect this module with the structure builder to activate. It is strongly recommended to perform the optimization before simulation. It can consume credits. After that, Set the temperature of the system. Use the value of the amorphous range. Submit the thermalization job to the cloud server. Update the module and check the job status. After the thermalization step, you can start the solubility calculation. But for clear results, I'll obtain the glass transition temperature. On the module selector, open the simulation tab and go to the chem lamps category. Click the TG CTE module to add. Connect this module with the thermalization module to activate. Set the temperature range. Submit the job to the cloud server. Update the module and check the job status. We can determine the information from these results required for solubility calculation. First of all, we can find the glass transition temperature, Tg. Polymers will exist a rubber phase above this temperature. We can also find the melting point. Specifically, see the MSD graph. MSD is the abbreviation of mean squared displacement, which means the total amount of the movement of the entire atoms. We can find the atoms move actively before 260 picoseconds and after is not. So we can consider the before 260 picoseconds range as the liquid. This range is before the 500 Kelvin range. So we can estimate the melting point is around 500 Kelvin. Finally, we can obtain the solubility parameter. On the module selector, open the simulation tab and go to the chem lamps category. Click the solubility parameter module to add. Connect this module with the TG CTE module to activate. Now, the calculation information is imported to this module. Select the appropriate temperature, at least, TG. Next, we should add the monomer information by connect. Please note that, uploading your structure file to the visualizer does not work. Click the polymer monomer button and click the molecule builder thumbnail. Click the optimization button to prepare the monomer structure information. As also the other modules, you can view the optimized structure text. Next, set the job name. 
and click the Start Job button. You can check the submitted job status on the dashboard. This job will be finished in 5 minutes. The job list is disappeared if the job is finished. Close the dashboard. Back to the Solubility Parameter module, click the Update Status button. Check the job status is successfully finished. Go to the Analysis tab. You can check the calculated results. The results show the solubility parameter of the polymer. You can check the solubility parameter by changing the number of the polymer in the amorphous cell. And also, you can predict the boiling point by machine learning. Click the Load Values button to bring the parameters from the calculation results. Enter the melting point of the system. Put the target vapor pressure, if you need. You can obtain the predicted boiling point value and vapor pressure by clicking the predict button. If you have any questions or trouble, feel free to leave a comment. I hope it will help.